Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto, finance, or the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now today, again, the crypto world is a little bit flat at the moment, and I will be one of the only ones to be honest about that. But there are some interesting updates coming out about Chainlink. Uh, we've got XRP Ripple News. That is a given on my channel. German government selling a lot of Bitcoin. Consensus updates as well. MetaMask's in trouble, uh, which is not good. We do have Ethereum spot ETF updates as well as my trading bots, which I've literally just set up yesterday. Uh, with the leverage trading bots. Now I'm going really small and light on that leverage because uh, it can get a bit wild and the market is still extremely freaking volatile. It's a pain in the ass. It is what it is, but we're still trading. All right, we have to keep going. This is the name of the game. You have to be consistent with whatever you're doing with any kind of investing strategy or investing, right? You've got to be consistent. Otherwise, what's the point of doing it, right? Anyway, Let's get into the video. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification because as you can see on my screen, I absolutely love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom, and of course my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come on this incredible journey. Things are interesting and flat at the same time, but we're still doing videos because there are, are, um, are updates. So guys, come along this insane journey. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gents do that. So make sure you give it a good thumbs up. Also a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff, right? I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt, all right? Now, formalities are out of the way. Let's go straight to the community tab. Yeah, there, the market has been extremely flat and it's an absolute pain in the ass. It is, it really is. There's a lot of selling going on with like, again, German government selling a lot of Bitcoin, a lot of outflows, but there are also inflows. So it's interesting. Now, going straight to community tab, this one's freaking awesome, right? Now, again, um, I found this on X, so I'm going to give full credit where it's due. But check this out right here. It's an exchange traded product or an ETP, right? Uh, now, this is on NASDAQ in Stockholm. Stockholm? Stockholm? However you pronounce it. Uh, forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. There is a, an XRP ETP. So that's an exchange traded product, which is going live on basically the NASDAQ over there in Stockholm, which is awesome. Uh, it is literally backed, physically backed by, uh, you know, 100% by XRP, which is nice. And that's one-to-one -one exposure. Uh, and this is just the beginnings of an XRP exchange traded fund on Wall Street, but this is obviously in Europe, right? This is crazy. This is by uh, Virtune right now. And uh, Stockholm, 2nd of July, uh, Virtune, a Swedish regulated digital asset manager, is announcing the launch of the Virtune XRP exchange traded product on the uh, NASDAQ in Stockholm. That is awesome. Freaking awesome news. Uh, now, of course, we've got updates in relation to these Ethereum ETFs. We are all waiting for these. But yes, Ethereum could move in price. People need to be patient with this. And uh, again, the ETFs expected to launch as soon as July 8th, uh, which is really nice to see that as well. Uh, a golden egg for Ethereum's price. Uh, while Bitcoin is set to uh, face selling pressure as $8.5 billion, uh, again, is returned to creditors, for Mount Gox, this is going to hurt this month. So just be prepared for a lot of volatility. May even have to open up the short bots to go a little bit crazy. But K double three analyst uh, Vital Lund and David Zimmerman said on July second report, Ethereum has underperformed against Bitcoin. Uh, later posting market uh, leading gains bolstered by over fourteen billion dollars of inflows into a Bitcoin exchange traded funds. But basically, what this is saying, once you know the Mount Gox uh, creditors are repaid. The market settles a little bit. We could start to see a back momentum uh, moving upwards, which would be really, really nice. So just be patient with it. Chainlink teamed up with Fidelity, uh, which is insane uh, to bring the NAV data, which is, um, I think it's, what is my God, net asset value. Uh, if that's correct, sorry, I, I did go through this yesterday, which is bullish. Uh, now again, German government has made another significant Bitcoin transfer moving 830 Bitcoin valued at $52 million, uh, which is a lot of money. 
uh, of this total, 282.7 Bitcoin versus uh, $17 million were sent to major exchanges, Bitstamp, Kraken, and Coinbase, uh, which is freaking horrible, but it is what it is. And the top altcoins in my portfolio, which again, I post up every single day uh, in the Wall Street Bull University. The link is below the Patreon. Go join up, guys. We have Veracity in my portfolio, Acro, CFX, XDC, Bullish. Everyone's picking up what I've done here, right, with the little money faces. Uh, and Kin, top old coins now that are up. Now, let's go to coin market cap, 2.26 trillion today. Um, <clears throat> $56 billion in volume. It's still incredibly low, right? 53% uh, on the Bitcoin dominance, and we're still at 48. So we're a bit neutral at the moment. It's a bit flat. Bitcoin's currently trading at 60,786. Ethereum, 3,349. This is my watch list, by the way. It gets posted up all the time in the Patreon, right? Solana's at 146, XRP's at 48, Dogecoin, 12 cents, Cardano's at 41, uh, and I'm not going to read them all, XLM, 9 cents, Hedera's at 7, Immutable X, $1. fifty-four. VeChain, 2 cents, Sui's 81 cents, Quant is at $78, Axie's $5.90, XDC is up 2.9%, which is nice to see that finally, uh, Alluvium, $66, Casper's at 2 cents, XYO is still in the pennies. I'm bullish on XYO. Nexra, we have Star Atlas. Veracity is up 7.89%. That is bullish. I love VRA. Uh, and scrolling down, that is pretty much it. Omi Token is also up today as well. So anyway, go join up, guys, because it's a really, really bullish community. Uh, and again, going to uh, Crypto Bubbles. Yes, before I do, I do have the Wall Street Bull University. I'm plugging the shit out of this because I love it. It's a freaking awesome community and it supports me and I like supporting everybody by showing exactly what's making me money. Uh, and again, this is the whole main, we watch YouTube chat, the main reason anyway, we watch YouTube and you know try to learn as much as we can. Um, again, I post up on my uh, buys, my sales, my trades, uh, my indicators, my trading bots with three commas, the full setup guides on that on both gate.io and of course, OKX, both are partners of the channel. Uh, everything is up in here, guys. All of the links, the news before I go live, uh, there's a lot of useful information there. More importantly, my dividend investing, uh, which again provides serious cash flow every single month. And that's the whole point we like to invest is to generate cash flow. And I think if you're not looking at that, uh, you know, in terms of an investing strategy, check it out, do your research, right? Go join up. It's really, really important, I think, anyway, for the future to generate cash flow for your family, if, whatever you want, all right, in life. You need cash flow especially during these times that we're all living in that right now because it's ridiculous. Cost of living is skyrocketing. You need to make your money work for you, right? Anyway, that's all in the Wall Street Boy University. Go join up. I did set up the bots uh, yesterday on three commas. Now, again, you will get a discount if you use my uh, referral link below for three commas. I did set up a, a, a 3x long position um, bot, which is trading for me. Uh, RSI indicator, three minute time frame, small amounts, small leverage, small amounts. It is what it is. And yeah, it's just ticking over. The, the I mean, the uh, spot trading bots are still running at the moment. They are a bit flat. Uh, now again, you do have to keep in mind with the spot trading, you need a lot of capital to do that, uh, which is annoying. Whereas with the leverage bots, you don't need as much capital because you're leveraging it up, of course. So just bear that in mind. I mean, I've got all my setups here. Uh, you can see with the trading bots, you can trade any pair you like on a single bot, or you can use that as a multi-bot, so you can put them all in together and trade everything on one bot. So you can do that both long and short, but it's up to you. But anyway, it's all there. Um, the gate.io bots are working nicely. Uh, you can see I'm trading Ethereum name service right here, Chainlink, we've got XRP, of course, uh, Bitcoin, Polkadot, Matic, and TRX, and Bonk. Uh, now again, these are just trading for me 24 seven on three X leverage. Do not trade with leverage unless you are well and truly prepared to lose that money. Don't go too crazy on it. And again, just be very careful with the leverage. I will just repeat that because you get, you basically get liquidated, right? Anyway, that's all in the Wall Street Point University as well as the dividend investing, which I think is insane. Go join up to that. Let's have a look at the news and then uh, we'll get into everything. I'm not going to go into crypto bubbles. $5 trillion investment giant established a partnership with this altcoin. Chainlink is bullish as anything. I've liked it for a very long time. It is part of my banking coin list. Decentralized computing platform Chainlink announced that it has collaborating with Fidelity International and crypto bank uh, Signum right here uh, to bring the net asset value NAV data on chain. This is huge, right? The Fidelity, Signum ba Bank and Chainlink partnership aims to bring transparency uh, and accessibility to net asset value data on tokenized assets. 
We are excited to announce that Fidelity International and Signum right here have partnered with Chainlink to provide on-chain NAV data for Fidelity International $6.9 billion money market fund. This is a landmark production use case for tokenized assets. This is insane. Come on, follow the money. We do have a Ripple escrow unlock, and I believe this is going to be ending quite soon. It's you know not that far away. They will end up event eventually stopping this. Ripple released rem remnants of the June XRP escrow execution in two transactions, releasing 150 million XRP on June 7th. Ripple released another 250 million coins on June 20th, making it 400 million tokens released. However, following June escrow release uh, conclusion, Whale Alert spotted another transfer of 200 million uh, tokens between two unknown wallets. Now again, this happens all the time, and uh, they just continuously pull it in and pull it back, pull it in, pull it back. I'm not really concerned about that. I'm really focused on the actual coins utility. I'm not really worried about the escrow releases, to be honest. This is really annoying, but the German, German government, again, uh, reduces its Bitcoin holdings to 43,859. So governments do hold Bitcoin around the world. We know that Germany has it. Multiple countries have it, right? Including the United States. They are one of the biggest holders of Bitcoin, which is crazy. But they are selling it off, uh, which is annoying. And to be quite honest, we don't even know the real reason why, uh, again, but they're just pos possibly man to manage its holdings or influence market forces. So again, it is what it is, but they're selling. Pressure is hitting the market. Consensus. Uh, again, this is crazy right now, but the recent development in the consensus and the blockchain software company founded by Ethereum co-founder Joe Lubin uh, has been granted an expedited decision by the Texas judge. Uh, and again, this is all to do with MetaMask right here. And the decision will determine whether the SEC can regulate MetaMask, a crypto wallet, as a broker dealer, uh, which is crazy. And I stopped using MetaMask a long time ago because it got hacked uh, from malware on my uh, computer. So be be very careful of that. Make sure you're doing virus scans and check that because I did get cleaned out and those funds would never be able to recover. So just bear that in mind. If you're using MetaMask on your computer, just be aware that you can get hacked, right? You can lose everything that's happened to me before. Spot ETFs could debut uh, a week of July 15th, which again is nice. Uh, again, expected to launch the week of July 15th, pending the S1 approvals. And the SEC's amendment due date potentially influences the launch timeline. Uh, and again, Eric Balkanis, forgive me for pronouncing his name wrong, but I uh, said the US SEC Commission has set a July 8th date as the deadline for the ETF issuers to amend their S1 forms. Uh, so again, that is impending. Keep an eye on that. Money going into the following coins. We've got Solano, XRP, BNB, Ethereum, Cardano, Bitcoin, Polkadot. Nice. Absolutely nice. Now let's go to X. There's an interview with Tom Lee I want to play you guys. And to be honest, there's not a lot happening on X. It's really quiet. And yes, we've got ETFC. There's fifth straight day of inflows. Total of $129 million. Thank you, Chad um, Stein Graber right here for that uh, ETP news for the XRP. I'm going to play this interview with Tom Lee and Bitcoin. Have a listen to this. We're going to end up on this. If I want to, if it wants to, if it wants to work. Right, I hate when X does this. You just click it, but let's have a look. For Here we Why? go. Feet of clay, because I said Tom Lee's going to be absolutely right about the fifty-five hundred. Why is he still saying one hundred and fifty for Bitcoin? Why do that? Why not just focus on stock? Don't stick your neck out because it was falling below sixty thousand. Now it's back to almost sixty-three thousand. So that six trillion we just talked about. That sort of plays into your Bitcoin thesis. That's right. Bitcoin's probably suffering from the Mt. Gox, you know, starting distributions in July. That was a huge overhang for many years. But if I was investing in crypto, knowing that one of the biggest overhangs is going to disappear in July, I think it's a reason to actually expect a pretty sharp rebound in the second half. So I think, you know, 150 is still within... It's already July 1st, so that's that's so you're not taking that off the table. That's still a possibility. That's right. And you know, one thing to keep in mind, Bitcoin makes most of its gains within with 10 days every year. If you take out the 10 best days in a single year, Bitcoin actually has negative returns. There you go. There you go. It's all the man Gox pressure right now and again. It just it's a matter of time. It really is. And yeah, there's a lot of institutions buying Bitcoin. You know, be patient with it, honestly. And I just thought that was freaking hilarious right here. People who locked a 3% mortgage for 30 years. Yeah, I think a lot of people are feeling that pinch right now in Australia. But that is it. Uh, also, again, Judge Torres gives the green light for institutions and banks in the United States to use XRP for payments and denies the SEC appeal. 
That was just some old news right there. I thought I'd throw that in. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for today. Thank you very much. I will speak to everyone tomorrow. Have a good night, good afternoon, and good morning. If it's morning, have a double shot of espresso or a couple of Red Bulls to get you going. Uh, no, don't do that. That's, that's not good advice at all. But anyway, stay bullish. Um, continue to have a plan and join the Wall Street Boy University. Uh, I'll see you all in there, all right? Take care of yourselves. Peace out. Bye.